This is something that we are doing for Thomas. Yes? Uh, <coughs> we, 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 we work at like LIDA does the metabase work. She is very specialized on business intelligence. So say hello, LIDA. Hello, LIDA. <laughs> <laughs> She worked she work in, in Colombia a lot with business intelligence and dashboards and all these things. So we found a good opportunity that she creates some dashboards. And when she did that, I saw that it was not uh, connecting to Eigenpair, was not ready. Yeah? In the last conference, Murilo showed a way to connect to Metabase, to expose Metabase in a dashboard, but uh, uh, in, secure, in an insecure way, not protected, yep. So I went curious, as usual, and I developed this plugin, Metabase. And when I start developing, then I sometimes I cannot stop. <laughs> so. I, I, I explain here in this web page how to configure Metabase, how to configure in Metabase, yeah? And then when you have the things in Metabase, then you configure in Eidenpeer. And this is where I say that I do one thing and then see the next opportunity and the next and, and keep going. So I, at first I created a form that I call it BI dashboard form and it's there. And then I thought, why can't I why not put the dashboard in a normal dashboard in home? So I did the connector. And then I said, and why not a field in a window? And I did the connector. And then, and why not like in Wikifo here? And I did that. And then, why not reporting so I can click a report and get a metabase report? So I did the connector. <laughs> so that's <coughs> why it was developed this, yeah? And let's see in the server side. The server side, we created, uh, Thomas has a production database, and we simply, we didn't do <coughs> ETL, yeah? We simply <coughs> replicated the database completely to uh, another server, and we are accessing the search uh, directly, yeah? <coughs> the replica. Not, we didn't make queues or things like that, just straight access. Mostly because we want uh, to change this at some point of time, LIDA has this project that to share the dashboards with the community. Uh, if in for that, we want to use the tables of IDPR and not cube tables and things like that, just extract, okay? So, this is Metabase, yeah? You create, in Metabase, you create, you create graphics and then you create, for example, this, this is a query here, okay? Cannot run because it's a parameter, it's not there. Um, okay, and you create dashboards too. Here, here is a dashboard, for example. Yeah, and when you are in a dashboard, here is a shape, shape, and embedding. Yeah, and you can see here. Uh, it's explained here how to embed this into uh, another application. And Metabase give you a dashboard number here. This is the important piece to connect there, the dashboard number. And in, in Metabase, there is a administration point, administration, where you say, I want to embed Metabase in another application and you configure a secret key. Those two are the points of connection. A secret key, and the, uh, every dashboard has a number, yeah? 
How is the security of this? How, how is more secure than the other way that Murillo explained it, yeah? Murillo explained it is how to, in a dashboard, put the database URL and get the report. Yeah? But similar to what I just explained it, I could check in Chrome and get the URL from Metabase and exploit it to get other information, <coughs> yeah? So here is, here is to publish just some dashboards that I want to publish in a secure way and this uh, create the dashboard and I think you, in some point of the configuration you say how long the token uh, lasts, yeah? The token has an expiration, you say the token is 10 seconds. So the user get the reports, and if they try to use the token, doesn't work. The token expires short. And this is how it works. This is how we see when Thomas logging to his system, he comes here and this dashboard is automatically opened and this is the dashboard, yeah? <coughs> it's strike to configure. Here is the, there is a metabase server that I define. The, the server, I put here the key, the configuration key that metabase gave, and there are metabase dashboards. And here is the number that I told you that is important. Every dashboard has a number. So I put the number here, the expiration of the token. Mm, there is more things. Uh, there is a dark and night theme. So I can choose here, things like that. And just add the dashboard and it's done. Yeah? And uh, as usual, there is a full explanation in the wiki about how to integrate with dashboard, with quick info, with report, etc., etc. Yeah? That's what I wanted to show. Questions? No questions. A chat dashboard is interactive. Repeat it? Yeah. It's a kind of interactive dashboard. Uh, no. When, when you are uh, in Metabase, like a cus Metabase customer, yeah, like here, you have, you have drilling and a lot of functionalities. Yeah. Uh, when you publish the dashboard, no, you don't have Just an image. I think maybe, I have not explored it completely, but I think maybe you can configure some drilling, but not full open drilling, yeah. Uh, but it's similar to what Brent said this morning, yeah? Like use Metabase, the ad hoc, ad hoc tool to, to explore the data, and when somebody gets a useful graphic or report, then create a dashboard and publish it for the consumers, yeah? No, they, maybe they don't have the drilling and that, but they co consume the Report that the other person configured them. Yeah. 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 But uh, sometimes when they see the dashboard, they want to filter. <coughs> yeah. The filter is possible because we added this in the dashboard. In the dashboard, we can have here uh, parameters. Yeah. For example, we made a <coughs> history parameter, a history dashboard here. I know this is a report. And we did a uh, mining. For example, this mining, we created mining with two parameters. And the dashboard asked the user product that I uh, buy and product that I sell, and, and it creates a dashboard there with, with those two parameters. So yes, I, I, can, I could filter. The, in fact, this is filtered. Every dashboard is filtered by AD client ID, of course. Otherwise, you will be showing information from other tenants. Yeah? It also wouldn't be hard to be able to show <coughs> the actual URL to the dashboard, the certain roles, if you wanted to be able to 
you had like or whoever the data architect is, it could actually just clear that into <coughs> if you chose to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. And <coughs> more questions? No? <coughs> so again, change of topic. Yeah.